is xgboost used for time series forecasting as well well i don't know that was the exact question which i asked myself and i was pretty much confused about it because i knew that regression analysis and time series forecasting time series analysis are way two different topics of course beneath your time series analysis lies a regression analysis as well because it's all based on regression but can xgboost fix a time series forecasting problem somebody told me couple of days back yes it's possible and that's where i started digging it because i knew about a lot of time series forecasting algorithms be it arima different versions of arima ar ma ar ma sarima sarimax garch models facebook profit lstms i knew about a lot of time series algorithm holtz winter holtz linear and all those things but the question which came to my mind was can xgboost be able to solve a time series forecasting problem and that's where i started doing my research and started going through multiple blogs multiple repositories and then got to know that yes it is possible but there is a small catch why because the xgboost like you cannot use xgboost classifier simply right because that is meant for classification now xgboost regressor can solve a time series forecasting problem but you can check it out if i started searching for this one you can see that xgboost can also be used for time series forecasting although it requires that the time series data be transformed into a supervised learning problem first that means you have to make your problem like it should look like a regression problem and then you can use your xgboost regressor to solve this particular problem so i have a blog i have a small repository i have a small code which i have created let me walk you through this particular file and we'll see how can we implement time series forecasting using xgboost well that's the entire topic about this video but i also have a comparison with some other algorithms as well so we'll try to implement it using xgboost and we'll try to implement it using another library maybe facebook profit and we'll see which one is performing best okay so here i have imported all my libraries as i'm using google collab so i have mounted my drive not going to run all these things in front of this particular video as you can see my results are already on the screen that means i have already ran it so this is how my data looks like i have date sold post post code price property type and bedrooms so i need to predict the price based on date that's my very like that's my time series problem right so here there is a catch the catch is i cannot pass this particular column as it is so i'm going to extract some features out of it so i'm going to extract r the day of week the quarter the month the year all the different parameters which is possible you can see from date sold i'm going to get a lot of information all these things i'm getting now once i run this you can see this is how my new data frame looks like i have my date sold no doubt but i have so many information hour day of week quarter month year day of year sin day cos day all these things are present right now so sin day is nothing but np dot sin that means numpy dot sin numpy dot cos and all these things are extracted from my date column so what's next can we keep the date column as a feature no we are going to drop that because this is a regression problem we are faking and trying to implement a time series problem like a regression problem that's how xgboost regressor works right you cannot simply pass a date column as a feature so of course it's not a time series forecasting algorithm but it also helps you in a way to solve it to solve a time series forecasting problem so i have i'm dropping unnecessary columns like date sold post code property type and bedrooms so i just want to take a univariate forecasting that means only my date features like i'm not considering bedrooms post code and property type i don't want that i'm just considering my univariate forecasting that means only date 
and my column which is price that's my y variable so only date means these are all my features right of course these are my extracted features so you you cannot argue that it's a univariate forecasting problem but we know that it's multivariate forecasting but all these features are your date features right so it's kind of a similar concept like it's one variable but you have multiple features don't get confused so i am just calculating the length here i am getting my df train that means i am dividing my training and test data based on this particular criteria anything below 2017 is going to be my training data and similarly anything beyond 2017 or 2017 is going to be my test data right and then i'm passing everything here i'm calling my xg boost regressor and my objective is regressor square error and estimator system uh, 1000 and here i'm doing my regressor dot fit this is exactly the way we initialize a xg boost regressor right this is how the regression models work and then once my prediction is done y hat i'm just printing my y hat i already have my y test now i have my y hat which is my predicted y now what i can do is i can simply plot my uh, msc score right or i i can just print my msc score so my msc score which is i've taken a square root of it so this becomes my root mean squared error which is 305k okay so how can we validate if it is correct or not if it is good or not we cannot validate it unless and until we implement another new library or a new algorithm right so here i am plotting my training sorry my test and the predicted data as you can see the data is little bit uh, the prediction is not that accurate not that good but what can you expect from a xg boost regressor right so some of the hyperparameter optimization steps are also mentioned in case you want to run it through a grid search cv and then i'm i'm printing my r square r2 square and these are my plot importance so day of year is more important than year all these are my feature importance okay similarly i'm just calling my grid search dot predict and then i am finally optimizing the output initially i was having 306k 305k and now i have 299k so my rmsc is compromised now my rmsc has come down after hyperparameter tuning still it's not that great but let's see let's see how facebook profit does it so facebook profit i hope everybody knows about facebook profit if not please pause the video and go ahead and just check it out what exactly it is i already have an end to end time series forecasting episode of like 2 hours in my particular channel you can simply find that video and understand each and every concept of time series forecasting 2 hours video you just have to search time series forecasting satyajit giving my name because i'm not that famous on youtube right so you have to pass my name and you will get a 2 hours video and then you can check it out that is an end to end time series forecasting video so in that i have also explained facebook profit so here i'm calling my facebook profit importing the libraries and here i have my date sold post code and all these things i'm just considering my date sold univariate one variable date versus y that's it so i'm going to predict my y similarly i have taken my training and test data i have already confirmed the shape of training data and test data in this method and in that method both are same okay and then i am performing the same steps what we perform in uh, normally in facebook profit here i have also added post code and bedrooms as a new regressor what is add regressor that means if you are adding post code and bedrooms as a new add regressor that means it's a multivariate problem if you want to run it for the like if you want to try it for the first time just comment out these two particular lines and run it that makes you a univariate problem so once you run this model here you initiate your profit model here i'm calling the fit method here i'm renaming my files renaming my data frame and then i'm calling my 
blah 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 i'm just doing my model dot predict and here i am printing my ds my predicted my predicted lower and predicted upper now you can see when i'm calculating the root mean squared error which is df test of y and forecasted data np.exp so why i'm doing np.exp because initially i'm doing a logarithmic transformation right so my forecasted values are on log transform data so of course on my final forecastment not final forecastment on the final forecasted results i have to do a inverse transformation so i'm doing np.exp and you can see rmse is quite high 390k so i have tried this model on univariate forecasting as well using univariate forecasting i was able to get 341k of course not a great output when it come when it gets compared to xgboost regressor but 100% there are ways how you can optimize your facebook profit there are multiple ways how you can optimize it even though xgboost regressor has done a good job here i still don't recommend you to work with xgboost regressor at least for time series forecasting problems xgboost regressor and xgboost classifier they are way too way too good models way too good algorithms but they are good for their respective problems classifiers are good for classification problems and regressor for regression problems but it is definitely not recommended to use a regressor for a time series forecasting problem okay so that's it about this particular video i hope you enjoyed and i hope you got some idea that this is possible using xgboost classifier xgboost regressor but it's up to you whether you're going to try it out or not that's it from my side i'll leave this particular uh, file in the description below as part of my github repository you can check it out play around with it in case there are some issues while running any code feel free to connect me on linkedin and ask me doubts anything anything where you are stuck i am ready to help you out that's it from my side guys i hope you enjoyed and please like share and subscribe the video and please press the bell icon to get notified on my future videos thank you signing off bye bye